Beyonce, you have got to be trolling because what is this? A $60 candle, like, girl, gone. Like, haven't you heard? The people are in a recession. The people can't find jobs. The people don't know where their next paycheck nor meal are coming from. And you just hell bent that you want to sell pricey ass whack ass products that the people do not need right now and i'm really about to go in because like i've noticed there's been a lot of mistakes over there in the carter camp especially with again beyonce and it's like you wonder why people keep accusing you of going broke you wonder why people keep accusing you of being out of touch and it's because you do shit like this again we're in a recession and you've released a bunch of shit that people just don't want. From the music to the products. Let's start with the products. Ivy Park came out, okay? And then the Adidas people dropped it. Because where was the shit for us to even buy? Comment below if you could find that shit in your local Nordstrom. Because I couldn't find it in mine. And even Tasha K said she really couldn't find it to buy. So... I never saw anybody walking around with it. I do think that if people could buy it, they would have bought it. They did have some cute pieces. I had to get a skirt off of the real real. And I'm, that's the gag. I'm one of the few people who I've actually seen wearing the latest Ivy Park release. And again, I had to get it off the real real because I never saw that shit in person being sold. So that's an issue right there. What was going on with your supply chain and distribution? You was marketing it real hard, but... Again, we really couldn't find it out in the streets. Then, let's get on um, the, the perfume. You did one ad for Senwa. The ad was awkward. And then you never touched on it again. I don't know what happened with Senwa. I don't know why you forgot about it. I don't know why you didn't keep pushing it. But for, for whatever reason, you, again, you, you came out with it one time. And then we never saw it again. So, I'm sure somewhere... There's a bunch of sacred, excuse me, a bunch of Senwa bottles stacked up in a warehouse that are collecting dust like the rest of your shit is. But, you know, something went awry with that. And then we're going to get on um, the sacred hair care products. Okay, not a bad idea, but I don't know why you would release a product called Shaken Ritual Vessel after years of witchcraft rumors following you why would you do that like that's not a good thing to be accused of being a witch to be accused of doing dark arts especially in a time right now where a lot of your shit is starting to be exposed with how you move behind the scenes and not everybody again is a damn fool so i don't know why you and your mama another person who keeps being accused of being a witch why would y'all release a product called shaking ritual vessel that kind of comes off like y'all confirming the allegations no we're not buying that shit you're not about to put no ritual vessel near my scalp like beyonce go ahead with this shit and then you release liquor and i'm not a whiskey drinker i don't drink anymore period actually and it might be doing well people might want to buy it i have no interest in it that's on you. You pushing that real hard. And then you come out saying that, oh, like Solange making the glasses that you pouring the whiskey into. I don't see that being promoted anywhere. You said something about it. I don't see it anywhere else. And then now we're doing candles. And it's just like, again, what's going on over there? Like, are you and Jay-Z in debt? You have mentioned debt before. So, you know, in music, if y'all listening and paying attention. So it's just like, did y'all get yourselves into some debt that y'all got to scramble y'all way out of? Because, look, artists make most of their money on tour. It appears like you had a very successful renaissance tour. But yet, it, it seems like that wasn't enough money because you still got to push products so hard. And I get it. I know you're probably tired of touring. But you haven't built a career off of... Um, being personable you haven't built a career out of touch t touching people and talking to people like directly and i get it like not everybody is not everybody is like super extroverted but again nasty rumors have followed you for a while and the fact that you wait to the, it seems like the end of your career to want to do all this is just rubbing people the wrong way because we can tell that it's not genuine now i want to get on to the music 
your last good project that in my opinion that you released was lion king the gift that was a good project you know renaissance wasn't for people like myself there were some people who really liked it its main target audience was the rainbow community i'm not a hater they deserve music to party to to dance to to fall in love to as well but you are an r&b singer with a primarily black audience you know that your core fan base is black women who want R&B music from you, but she refused to deliver as of recently. And I don't fault you for wanting to change genres, but when you do change genres, lately it hasn't been good. Again, the last time you did a good job switching genres was the Beyonce self-titled album. And you did a good job, again, with Lion King, the gift with like the Afro beats. That Cowboy Carter shit, Beyonce, you know you could have kept that bullshit. And I don't know why you felt the need to try to prove something to a bunch of people who aren't your fucking core fan base anyway. Why? When, again, if you was really keeping your ear to the streets and really, like, in touch with the world in reality, you would have released Recession Pop. This is the perfect time to capitalize off of, yes, we're in a recession, the economy is bad, people are broke. You should be releasing Recession Pop and you should be releasing fall in love again music all we hear online all day especially in the black community is 50 50 relationships men are evil you know women want this and that um and just all of this gender war bullshit like as somebody who you know appears to be happily married and has been that way for a while i don't know why you wouldn't release again love making music music to make people again um remember that love is still real and still a thing but no, you want to release yodel tunes and hair care products and candles and like all this other shit. And again, it's like at this point, Beyonce, you you and your team are responsible for the critiques and the disconnect because y'all just don't want to listen. And y'all don't let all of that money and fame and oh, I'm so untouchable and all of the in-house Michael Jackson comparisons. Y'all have let that shit go to y'all head. And so... I don't feel sorry for you anymore because you you hard headed as fuck and you don't want to listen. Are y'all buying this dry ass candle? Let's suck in the comments.